does your experience with being a child of survival affect the way that you parent it? Every day I uh, remind my children how fortunate we all are to be alive and to be in a country that has freedom and to be in a place where tolerance is important. Did any other of your parents or relatives survive? Well, again, uh, with my, the European members of my family, most from Russia and Poland, um, were killed. Some of them died in resisting the German occupation troops, and others died in the concentration camps. If you, if you can ask one person who harmed your parents one question, what will it be? I think the word would be why. Why did you choose to be so inhumane? Was your faith in God changed because of this? I've often asked the question, God, why would you allow this to happen? But I've also had the question, um, how did some people survive? And was that part of God's work also? Do you think children should learn about what happened? Definitely, and the reason for that is just what they said um, when I was in Europe 22 years ago, all over Europe, I uh, saw signs that said, never forget lest it happen again. In other words, if we forget the problems that have taken place, there's a chance that they're going to be repeated. What is the most important thing that you want me to remember about your parents? That my parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, all members of my family who survived were people who never lost their caring for other people or their passion to live. Have, have your feelings changed toward your parents' experiences now that you're an adult? Um, I think that's true for everybody, regardless of what uh, our circumstances were. When we're younger, we think we know everything. And when we get older, we start to understand that our parents learn and taught us what they know as well. And now that I'm a parent, I understand much of what my parents try to do. Do you, do you think after the wo World War was over that the Nazis or Hitler before he committed suicide felt any remorse about what they did? I really would like to know. And I have always been curious about two parts with that. One, the Nazis who committed the atrocities, whether they felt guilt or shame, or just following orders, and two, the other people in Germany who knew about it but weren't Nazis, why they did nothing. So, about one of the questions, so like, um, so yeah, I think that too, like, why would you consider doing all that hatred to all those innocent people? Well, I think that what you people are doing with your Tolerance Club is directly connected to that question. What is it in us as people that either makes us care about others and do things that are important to help everybody, or what is it in us that kind of makes us not want to see problems and close our eyes to what we all need to do. For example, right now in Japan, we all need to help those people. They've suffered a tremendous, tremendous problem. And one people's problem anywhere in the world is everybody's problem. Thank you for your time. That is all the questions we have. And thank you for your time for letting us interview you a second time. We really appreciate what you're doing. Thank you for all the work that you people are doing. I really am proud of you.